Hello, my name is Alex Pertica. I'm the Associate Program Leader for Advanced Technologies and Concepts within our Space Science and Security Program at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. I've been at the lab for 30 years working on projects in missile defense, remote sensing, and uh, also space. Today, I'm going to be describing a novel technology that we've developed for rugged and compact monolithic telescopes for the nanosatellite and UAV application space. Let's begin. This technology, in our view, is disruptive for nanosatellite and UAV applications. We call it monolithic telescopes because, in essence, we've developed a telescope that is made out of a solid piece of glass. It's a novel implementation of a solid catadioptric design form, essentially a variant of a Cassegrain design, but instantiated in fused silica. It's extremely compact. We can achieve telescopes that are three to six times more compact than conventional telescopes and lenses of equivalent optical performance. These telescopes are also extremely robust against vibration loads and temperature swings. They can be engineered to negate the need for on-orbit alignment and focus, and they have been already demonstrated from a high-altitude aircraft and from a low-Earth orbit nanosatellite, as I'll discuss shortly. To date, we have built and tested several variants of our monolithic telescope technology. The high resolution variant in the upper left corner of our quad chart here is what we call V4. The V4 design is an eight and a half centimeter aperture design with a focal length of 650 millimeters, yet it is only about 70 millimeters long. And that makes it a factor of four shorter than a comparable Vivitar 500 millimeter F8 telephoto lens. The V4 variant with the 8.5 centimeter aperture is designed specifically to be used on a 3U CubeSat, which is a, uh, a small nano satellite uh, that is 10 by 10 by 30 centimeters in size. It also shares that form factor with two other variants that we've developed. The large coverage area variant we call V3 prime. It is also eight and a half centimeters in aperture, but it has a focal length of 306 millimeters. And we have a variant for the shortwave infrared, so not visible now, but going from 900 to 1700 nanometer wavelength range. That design is the V4S, again at eight and a half centimeter aperture, with a focal length here of 500 millimeters. And finally, the largest variant is what we call our ultra high resolution variant, the V7 prime. It has an 18 centimeter aperture and a focal length of a whopping 2.3 meters, 2300 millimeters. This is over five times shorter than the Orion 180 millimeter Maksutov Cassegrain telescope. All of these designs have been built, all of them have been characterized in the lab, and one of them, the V4, has also been uh, flown on both high altitude aircraft and satellites, and so I'm gonna describe that. Satellites and high altitude aircraft constitute relevant environments for these telescopes. The V4 was flown on NASA's WB-57 aircraft, where it was located in the nose cone of the airplane and flew missions uh, from an altitude of 50,000 feet. And a V4 telescope is currently in orbit on board a 3U CubeSat flying in low Earth orbit at an altitude of 505 kilometers. Let's see some data from these campaigns. We're, we've achieved excellent imaging performance from both air and space. The picture on the left was obtained from the high altitude aircraft. It's a picture of the Texas Capitol building and it was obtained at a, at a range of 15.8 kilometers. The image on the right was obtained from low Earth orbit. It is actually an image of the city of Rome 
uh, taken at a range of 566 kilometers. And in the lower left part of the image, inside the red circle, you can actually see the Colosseum. For these telescopes, length and robustness are the key technology differentiators over conventional telescopes. Monolithic telescopes are significantly shorter than conventional telescopes with comparable imaging performance. Satellite developers can exploit this compactness by building smaller satellites, lowering launch and build costs. UAV developers can employ smaller gimbals and get better dynamic performance due to the fact that these short telescopes have a lowered moment of inertia. Due to the monolithic construction, monolithic telescopes are also able to withstand high levels of shock and vibration. In fact, uh, the story of how we developed these telescopes is that we actually were seeking to build a highly robust telescope that we could put on a satellite, launch it to orbit, and have it arrive there in focus so that we didn't have to add in-orbit focus mechanisms. What we discovered, however, as we started implementing this design is that the nature of having the telescope built in a single piece of glass also allowed us to get very extreme with the optical prescriptions of the surfaces, and that allowed us to achieve this extreme compactness that results in smaller form factors for comparable applications. Satellites today employ Cassegrain telescopes with separate primary and secondary mirrors. The monolithic telescope is, has a single piece of glass that has the primary on one side and the secondary on the other. And that's how we get that, that extreme robustness. UAVs typically employ catadioptric telescopes, but these often compromise imaging performance, not achieving what we call diffraction-limited imaging, which is the best possible imaging that you can achieve for a given aperture size. Our monolithic telescopes are diffraction-limited. Due to the fact that these uh, telescopes have been uh, demonstrated in relevant environments, we believe that they are ready for commercialization and insertion into satellite and UAV projects. In terms of maturity, we assess the technology readiness level at 8 based on a demonstration from a, from a relative environment in both air and space. As far as availability, qualified vendors exist for all the key components, including the optic itself, coatings, housings, and baffles. So these telescopes can be reliably built and assembled and provided for, uh, for projects. Although we've built four different instantiations of this telescope, there are other places in the design space where there are interesting variants. And LLNL engineers can design custom telescopes cover covering a broad range of options, including options in aperture size, in field of view, in sensor compatibility, and in wavelength range. In fact, the basic material that we're building these telescopes out of, which is fused silica, is transparent from 200 to over 2,000 nanometers. So there is a lot of space in wavelength range where we can tailor these telescopes for specific applications. The monolithic telescope technology is, is covered by issued and pending patents, and that uh, limits any potential copycat competition for this technology. And then finally, applicability. Uh, we believe important markets for this technology are for the next generation of Earth imaging small, sites, small sat constellations, and also the growing area of UAB-based industrial inspection of pipelines and facilities. For further information, please contact me at the email address shown. Thank you very much.